started as a word. Hamilton the Revolution. No. <laughs> um, actually, I will take Hamilton the Revolution. <laughs> Upon reflection, I like that, but I like tissue paper too. Thank you. Hamilton the Revolution. Or tissue paper. <laughs> Um, I was in AP government class in high school, and one of my favorite things that we did in the class is um, we had to create an entire city, um, a whole government, and we did one in the year 2000 based off of the movie The Ladies' Man. <laughs> it's a revolution, man! Forget the deodorant! That's what they want you to buy! You smell good on your own! Don't buy into the pharmaceuticals, it's all a ploy. You're gonna buy into it, you're a loser. <laughs> you know, being from New York, I cannot get tickets to fucking Hamilton to save my life. I try, I've offered myself, and I don't mean money. <laughs> hey, listen, Matt, what fucking war is this? You know? I've been living off the grid, and I see all these people toting around guns and singing to themselves, or rapping, and I just don't know what we're fighting over, you know? I don't know who the enemy is, I just keep on thinking to myself, I've been living off the grid in the woods, all that I really know is survival, and here these people are, just shouting about history. What are we, who are we fighting, man? I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. The city my group made was called Virginia, and the presentation had every sexual innuendo you could possibly have. <laughs> One of my friends even sang over China to the tune of O Canada. <laughs> Look, it's no different if you just put grease your pits before you go out for the night, man. Don't buy into that CVS pharmacy junk, you know? You smell good the way you are. You know, my middle son, Jeremy, he's just not good at anything. Sports. I tried to sell him for a Hamilton ticket. No one won. <laughs> yeah, in the woods, we actually use guns for survival. A voice isn't a weapon, man. All right? You can sing your songs and rap your lyrics, but at the end of the day, we got to find out who the fucking enemy is, man, so I can just I fight. I don't know. What's the war? Look into your eyes and the skies are living. I'm helpless. I'm down for the count. starting to think that maybe you're not quite the athlete that you originally thought you were. Yeah, I'm an athlete, all right. Why are you all worried about me? You should be worried about yourself. Look at that beer gut, coach. I was an athlete, okay? Yeah, it's not my time anymore. Yeah, I had my time to run around and be athletic. When was your time, the 1800s? Listen. <laughs> Don't try to restrict me and my activity. I'm working toward my own physical prowess goals, and I won't be held back by the likes of you. I'm gonna be like Mighty Mouse. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like Hercules. I'm gonna be like Atlas holding up the whole world. You just wait and see. Watch me lift this javelin. You need to get in the gym. Traditional weights, stretching, suicides, back and forth in the gym. Get with the team. Get in a team sport. It's not all about you. Yeah, listen, coach. I know I'm not the most popular guy on the crew team. I know that. I know you got faster rowers. I know you got more good looking guys. I know you care about that. Dude, I want to have the most attractive crew team in the history of high school sports. I'm surprised to hear you admit that so flagrantly. Half of winning a crew is intimidating all of the other crew teams. Purely by looks. Having your hair gelled in the right direction. Having rippling muscles. When we line up, I want everyone to look around and look at us and then get so scared they don't even know which direction they're supposed to row in. So you get in the gym, you get the traditional
facial muscles, <laughs> you go to CVS and you get some hair product. <laughs> Coach, with your team. Coach, Rogaine don't work for me. <laughs> I tried it, Coach. Rogaine don't work for me. Not like nothing, like nothing. And shave your head, because bald is sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> I know I haven't been the best communicator in this relationship. No, not at all. <laughs> but, you know, I think that there's still a lot to me before you give up. Right. I agree. That's why I brought you here. We want to learn a lot about each other, a lot about nature. Just really get in tune with where we go next in our relationship. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Have a seat. Okay, first and foremost, are you okay? No, I'm okay. It's just, I don't know. I'm thinking about the guys, and then they're back at the bar right now, probably thinking, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not helping. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, well, I'm not thinking about the guys right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I Yeah, I know. The guys are dumb. The guys just, they don't even care about me as much as you care about me. Right. You know, That's been for you here. No, they didn't. They didn't even ask me last week if I wanted in on the bucket of beers. And it was like, yeah, oh, I want in. Duh. Why am I here if you don't get me one? <laughs> Just so messed up sometimes with those guys, you know? Yeah, Tom, that sounds like a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, I know you'd probably like at least ask me if I wanted in on the beers. <laughs> I thought you'd at least ask me what kind of diamond I like. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? No. What? No, Tom, there's like a bunch of different cuts. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I'm like a modern guy, okay? And you know what? I don't need to be told which cut my girl needs, you know? She's like, she's like into whatever I'm into. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, do you not like the diamond? Is that it? I just, I would have liked to be asked. Okay. And, and, it, and a cubic zirconium isn't a diamond. <laughs> They trick you there, that's what I'm saying. You got tricked at Kate Jewelers? Yeah, no, the guys tricked me is what I'm saying. They said, give me the cubic zirconium, she won't know the difference. You poor thing. I know. You're so susceptible to brainwashing and intimidation. <laughs> Shout it out into the forest here. Okay. I, re I resent brainwashing by Tom's friends. Ah, uh, Ronnie, screw you, man. You screwed me and my girl over, and that's it. We're out in the woods now, and it's all about us, and forget you and your Super Bowl party next weekend. <laughs> yeah, cats. Right? About to start. Yeah. Where'd you get these tickets, man? Stop it. Stop it. What are you saying? She's easy. What is that? What is that? What are you saying? It's the internet. What? <laughs> Tickets on stuff. For cats? Yeah. The musical? Yeah. Man, I sat in an alleyway for an hour. <laughs> no, wasn't it? It seemed like a good idea. Why? So, we're here. Yeah, we might be. But think about the journey it took to get here, you know? <laughs> for me, I had to wait in an alleyway, and for you, you use something called the internet. Yeah, it includes a couple buttons on a mouse, and costs like $200. Mm -hmm. The cats will be starting in 20 minutes. 20 Thank minutes. God. I'm sure that's not <laughs> with you. I don't. It doesn't matter how we got here. We're here. We're in the moment. We're gonna watch a play. I don't know what it's about. I but think I'm we saying. should know each other's names first before you touch my leg, buddy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Listen, I get this You're musical so brings people together. That's partly why I came here because I wanted to make friends, <laughs> but not that fast of friends. All right. I first want to appreciate. Cats, humans dressed up as cats, dancing and singing. <laughs> and then we can talk about it after, okay? I'm just really used to like holding hands or touching arms or something when I'm at a play. Did you lose somebody? Yeah. yeah. Did you lose? Well, it's it was my girlfriend. It, 
like literally or figuratively? <laughs> no, it was an actual human being. <laughs> oh, I mean that you lost li literally or fig she's dead? Well, no, I mean like we just aren't together anymore as a couple. Um, and we used to come, you know, to the to the theater a lot. <laughs> Before the show, we just want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day from the theater and the cast and crew of Cats. It's just looking for a distraction, so yeah. So back to the theater. It's pretty ironic. It was a poor decision. Yeah. You know what, though? I wouldn't say Cats is ever a poor decision because you get to watch Sea Lions stand. That is pretty oh, exciting. Oh, George! Oh my god! What? Stacy! Do we know this guy? <laughs> is that your dead girlfriend? Yeah, she's, she's only dead inside my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Party. 
Oh good, we were just laying out all the snacks. <laughs> Anybody want cereal with water? <laughs> They're the wheat chips. Is this Kraft Singles? It, it, yeah. That's not cheese and crackers. I'm lactose intolerant. Just unwrap the plastic and put the Kraft Single in your mouth! <laughs> What's the beat? Coach is gonna flip. This is not the right kind of dinner party. We're gonna flip! <laughs> Dad, a private council for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to maybe take a different approach and try being nice to my teammates, or else we'll never be able to exact the revenge we so deserve as a family. Because you have to delay for the better battle. I'm gonna call Coach right now. This is messed up. Hey, hey, you guys. Hey. Don't call Coach. Hey. Hey. No, hey! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Don't, don't my phone, dude. Those cause cancer. We're being kind. <laughs> hey. Hey. living room. Yeah. You freaks and your whole family are gonna be off road team. Listen, listen. How? Co coach is here. Hello, hello, it sounded like I got thrown. Out! Oh! Is it on speaker? Because I can hear him! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, coach, uh, you've come quick! They're serving us craft singles! Oh, coach, we're having such a great time! Wow, so glad you called! Are, are you carbo loading? Yeah, they're carbo loading! No! No! no we're not! He's just giving us craft singles! Oh, oh, it, oh. Syria! The connection! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, welcome to the Cave of Diamonds. Mm, yes, yeah, these all look the same to me. <laughs> ah, but they're not. In the Cave of Diamonds, you will learn many things that will boggle your young mind. Do you want to proceed? I mean... Pick me! Susie's gonna freak if I don't get her with the right one, so yeah, I guess I, guess I have to proceed. Yes, love! has a heavy price tag, <laughs> and if you wish to pay that sum, you must pay me something first. What, 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 you, what is going on? This is not, this is not the normal K Jewelers, okay? <laughs> no. You wandered into the Mall of Wheaton. <laughs> 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 the doors are shut! Oh, that pesky door has been causing me so many problems. You diamonds talking or am I hearing things? You're hearing things, silly Sam, child. I brought the extras. They're here. What? Yes. Oliver, you are not to speak! Oh, 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 I gotta go, I wanna go, I wanna bring this bad, I don't wanna bring this bad. Don't mind him, son. It's nothing. What's wrong with him? Why is he green? It's nothing. He's just... He has, you know. This isn't normal! Poison. This isn't normal! What's normal? What is normal? What I don't is know, normal? just like a nice guy who's like in a suit and like telling me which uh, like ring I should buy. That's normal. The ring you should buy will tell you it should you should buy it. Uh, the ring will choose you. Okay, this one seems like normal, right? Is it normal? <laughs> is normal what your girlfriend wishes? I'm normal. It's talking. This is not normal. This is weird. This whole place is weird voodoo stuff. I don't know if you're like part of the occult. I'm not cool with that. I don't know what this monster has in employment here. Oh my god. Oh. Guys, guys, I got you thinking. Yes? Let's start a diamond cult. I'm already on it. <laughs> Will I be accepted in there? As a normal monument! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's what I do. I just like, if you, I'll pay you a hundred dollars if you just follow me around the city and I follow my ex-boyfriend George and everywhere he goes, you just like, run into him and like, you pretend you love me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, first, I know every day at 3 o'clock, George is always in Starbucks. Starbucks, got it. Yes. They serve coffee there, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. You're hot. <laughs> hey, I got an order for you, George. Yes. Uh, you got George. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Football. <laughs> Stacy, I thought we said that you know we would just avoid 
the Starbucks that I always frequent. Oh, I can't avoid it now that I have Tim in my life. <laughs> he loves coffee. Tim? Tim. All right, Tim, I'm just bringing you home for Thanksgiving to piss off my mom and make her think I'm gay. Yeah, piss. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, act, stop being, like, such a fucking, like, just try to just look like you love me, okay? Just, All right. You know you think of, just whatever. All right. Yeah, cool. You're hot. <laughs> yeah, thank you, yes. Hi, honey, welcome home. Hey, I hope it's uh, not a problem. I bought my boy yeah, friend. Just like it's our it's friend, it's a boy. <laughs> no, Just we. Sorry, come in. Okay, well, you're gonna love it when you hear this, Mom. We do it. <laughs> I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> what? You mad? You bet you're pissed at me, right? You want me to fucking just get out of here, right? You don't even want me home for the holidays anymore, right? I, it, okay. I, I just want to make sure that he's... The lights are bright in this house. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to make for this upcoming uh, Florida election, and they said you might be able to come uh, out. Yeah, run. Got it. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, we've got a whole team that's going to work with you. All right, let's hit that hole. All right, first question. What, um, what's your favorite newspaper to read? This is something I'll ask you. Paper. I like uh, construction. <laughs> <laughs> Presenting. The seventh grade Norwood High production of Virginia the Musical. <laughs> Hello, I am just a clit. A lonely little clit. <laughs> One day something will come for you. <laughs> it's your gynecologist. Hooray! <laughs> hey, if you have a question, you can ask your fellow in tubes. We will address your question, <laughs> even if it involves your cubes. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> Together we are the vagina, and we make up your anatomy. <laughs> important to understand what's going on between the virginas. <laughs> yeah! Ronnie, <laughs> I just, I gotta get Tom to propose. He's always fucking drinking beers with you. Yeah, Tom's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I need your help. We went on this whole retreat and everything and it didn't work. Have you tried, like, telling him how you feel? Yeah, I tried that. I stopped taking my birth control. I don't know, man. She doesn't get me like you do. She doesn't even tell me I'm hot anymore. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like, you can pal around and stuff. Yeah, pals. Pals, yeah. yeah. My feelings have grown deeper. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of... I'm so confused! No, no, it's me! It's, I'm coming on too strong! You know, Tom? Tom? <laughs> it seems as though we both had interactions where we are the unnormal one. <laughs> Tom? Wait, <laughs> me? I'm unnormal? You're unnormal! I know, I'm green! Hey, fuck you, man! <laughs> no, but you love, I love, and I just want us to have love. Well, who do you love? My boss, but he slaps me. <laughs> he sounds like a pretty <laughs> I'm gonna quit this choir militia. No, we're gonna find him. No. Oh yeah. No, no, no. No Rambo's out there somewhere. The Hendersons are gonna thank us. Look, we we uh, made a dead end with that raccoon that we thought that was the kid, but we will find him. There's undead native explosives and explosives in these woods, and we're not actually trained to do anything. Military detonation. There's got to be that one song that'll make them come out. Okay, I just met you. 